Hi, I'm Patrick DSP, and I'd like to take a moment to talk about how to set up a turntable for the next time you're using one at home or DJing and get the best sound possible. So let's get started. Now here we have the Tonar assembly for a Technics turntable. This is a model 1200 MK5, but most are generally the same. Some of the components we have is the tone arm counterweight, the lock for adjusting the tone arm height that we can unlock and adjust the height. This one's a bit stiff. We can bring it up or down. Anti-skating, and of course the lever to bring the tone arm up or down. Now, how do we set this all up? First of all, what we need to do is we need to balance the tone arm. Now the needle I have is approximately three grams, but first we need to get this to float. We'll set the anti-skating to zero for now. And you'll see once it's floating, I'm not touching anything, it's balanced already as it is. We could turn this until it's zero. Once we have it balanced, we could set the counterweight to the recommended tracking force of the needle. This particular needle is recommended between three to four grams. Now that we have this at zero, we then turn it to three. We're using this at home so we can keep it pretty light. And that's that. We should set the anti-skating amount. So we'll go back to balance and we'll see how it goes forward and back. That's at zero. If we set it to six, the anti-skating will push the needle all the way back. We don't want that. That's too much force on one side of the record groove. And at zero, it's too little force. It's pushing it forward. I find for myself, two is good for scratching and back cueing. Now, once that's done, we could set it to three grams. And we'll change the camera angle so that you can see how I set the height. For this next segment on adjusting the tone arm height, we do need to have a record on the turntable. If we set up the height without a record on the turntable, we're not going to get the right height. What we need to do is we need to unlock the tone arm and we need to adjust this or turn this. It's always stiff. First, just put the needle on the record. Make sure it's a record you don't care about. And turn this until you get the right height. And the tone arm is parallel to the record. Once you have that adjusted, you can then lock it and you have everything set. If the tone arm is slightly higher or lower, you will get distortion. So anytime you listen to a record and you think the record is distorted, double check that your turn arm is actually level with the turntable. Keeping a few of these points in mind will help you have the best sound possible. Enjoy and happy DJing.